Hey guys, it's Loves to Loom here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute stroboscope bracelet. This was created by Suzanne HB on YouTube. You can also find her on Instagram as Crazy Just Might Work. Um, this design here that I'm holding is the original st uh, stroboscope. And then she does have two variations, which I will show you in a second. Um, I do also want to note, if you are not following uh, Suzanne HB, you most certainly want to. She has some super fabulous designs. I will have her link in the box below so you can do so if you're not already. Um, back to the bracelet. So this one here is the original. It takes, I believe it took me like 70 bands. Uh, depends on your wrist size, of course. Um, but I think it's really cute. Um, she was attempting to get it to lay on this side. Uh, but it wasn't really working out that way. Uh, but I think this way is still super cute. She has a slight variation, which is the exact same bracelet, except with one extra link in between spacing them out. I'll show you that. And then she does change it up just a bit, which created an effect where it would lay on this side, which is what she was originally going for. So I will show you how to do that as well. They are all very similar to each other and super cute. So without wasting your time and babbling any longer, let's go ahead and get started. To make this bracelet, you need your hook and one C-clip. Um, I just want to let you know that I am filming in a different location, so the light may be a little dimmer than usual, and I do apologize. Um, so to get started on the design, I choose three colors. I'm going to use white for the inner part of my bracelet, which is black on this one. And then I'm going to use purple and blue for the outside here. So we'll start off with the original. So grab whatever color you're using for the inside, which I'm going to use white, and we're going to just place the cap band. So put it on your hook, and then reattach, creating a cap band or figure eight like so. And now you're going to grab the first color that you're going to use, which I'll use purple. And um, for each little section, each one of these little sections will be adding three bands before you switch colors if you decide to do that. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to slide this band through. Pull the cap band on and you can go ahead and reattach the other side of the purple. Get a hold of your cap band like this, so you have a nice grip on it, and turn your hook facing down like so because we're going to slide that first band out like that. Grab a hold of it and just kind of pull it down because what you're going to do is keep pulling it down like that so that you can push your hook through the white cap band. And you want to make sure you're in between the two purples like I am. So just push through so that it's sitting on your hook like that. And now we're going to add on our next one. So I'm grabbing my next purple. Just trying to fix my focus. Grabbing my next one. We're going to pull that through all of the bands on our hook. Like so. And you don't have to reattach. You can if it's easier. I'm just going to turn my hook like this because I need to grab it just like we did the first time. So I'm just going to grab it like so. It may be easier to attach and then slide it out. So once I'm like this again, I'm going to do the same exact thing, making sure that you're in front of that band there. I'm going to push down with my hook and then we're going to move that a little bit. You're going to just push back through like we did the first time. But you want to make sure you're staying in between those two purples. Like that. And we're going to do that one more time for this color. Place it on your hook. Pull it through. I'm going to reattach it because it's a little easier for me to get a nice grip. Pop that first band out. Grab a hold of it with your hook facing down. And you kind of just use your hook to move that band where my thumb is out of the way. And just kind of keep pushing down and get under the white cap band. Move the purple if you have to. Push through. Like so. So it is pretty easy. So that's what we're going to continue to do. So now you want to grab one of your inner bands. And we're just going to pull it through all the bands on your hook. And reattach. Like so. And now we'll go on to our next color. 
which I'm going to use blue, and we're going to do that same thing. So we're going to pull this through. Like I said, I'm going to reattach it, and then I'm going to grab hold of it, face my hook down, slide it out of that first band, grab a hold of it, and pull it down with your hook, and then you're going to push it through the white. The first one's always the hardest because it's kind of loose. So make sure that you're getting through both of those whites and in between the blue, like so. Two more times we need to do that. Place it on. Bring it through the bands on your hook. I'm going to turn my hook down. Re-grab it. Push my hook down, and then I'm just going to push through. And as you can see, I am not in the middle there, so I have to bring it back out and move that. Because you have to be in the middle, like so. And we need to do that one more time. Grab a hold of it. Push down. And push forward like so. So now we have two. And now we're going to add on our white. After you add three of each section is when we add the inner band on. So pull that through. And reattach. Like so. So I'm going to go back to my purple this, uh, now. <laughs> so place it on. Slide it through. I'm going to reattach because I find that the easiest way because then with it reattached I can get a nice little grip of my bracelet. I kind of pinch it. Bring out the first one. Grab back a hold of it. And bring your hook down. And slide it through. Like I said, the first one's a little tough so you may need to move those side bands out of the way to get it through. We need to do that two more times. And just make sure that you're not going inside this uh, purple band where my thumb is. You want to use your hook to kind of move that out of the way. Because you only want to be going through that cat band, that white band. I went through the purple by accident. Okay, there we go. So that's what it's looking like. So you literally just continue that all the way up until you've reached the desired length. Remember, after each three color bands, you add your inner band on. So um, just that's how you do the original version. Um, and then if you want to do this version, you do the exact same steps, except you're going to put one extra inner band. So, for example, we just added this one on. For the original, we would start using our color band again. But for that version, um, we would actually grab another inner band. So there's two like that. And then we would go back to our color. So that's actually the only difference for that one. So you place it on. Pop your first band out. Grab a hold of it with your hook facing down. Push down and then push up in between the blue. Same thing. And one more time. Like 
like so. So now it's time to add the inner band on again. So I'm going to bring one through and reattach. And since I'm showing you the variation back here, we're going to add one more inner band. And now I'll go back to my colors. So I think you will find that this is actually quite easy to do, um, you know, once you understand the concept. We have our three, so now we'll add on our inner band. And then one more inner band for the variation. Like so. So as you can see, starting if you're looking like this, not looking at the end of the bracelet, that is how the variation is done. So you would just keep doing that. Um, and then at the end for closure, it's super easy. Once you're looping or done looping your very last um, colors on the outside, you simply just attach your C-clip. So it's super easy closure, and then you would just attach it to the beginning. So that's how you do that version. Um, of course, if you have any problems, please watch the previous instructions. But I do think it's pretty simple, and I'm confident everyone will pick up on that. Um, so now I just want to show you this variation. Um, so like I said in the beginning, for the first two I showed you, it lays on this side. Showing these on top. But for this variation, um, by changing something slightly, she got it to be able to lay with this side showing, which is super cute. So for that, you're going to start the same way. We're going to add a cat band onto our hook like so. We're going to start off the same way. It's very similar. There's only one little change. So I'm going to start with my purple, pull it through, and reattach. This part's exactly the same, this very first one. Pop it off your hook, grab it, and then push through the cap band. Now for this one, for the next two, um, well, for the original bracelet, we were bringing it through all the bands on our hook. Um, but for this version, you're only going to bring it through the cat band. You're not going to bring it through that purple. So you're just going to bring it through the cat band like so. So you should still have that other one on the back here. Slide out the first band, and you're going to do everything else the same. You're going to grab a hold of the band, push down, and then you're going to Push it through the cap band. Grab your next one. We're going to do the same thing, only bringing it through the cap band, like so. Reattach, get a nice grip. Take off the first band and grab it with your hook. Push down and then just move the bands and push it back through, like so. So you're still going to get that same look on the front, um, but the back, since we didn't pull it through these, you just have three bands gathered. And then just like we did in the original, you're going to grab your inner band, and now we're going to pull it through all of the bands on the hook. And reattach. Like so. Um, so for this version, I did two bands for the inner one. So just like I showed you in the second variation, I'm going to pull one more of these through. And now we'll start on our next color. So you do two inner bands before you do your outside pattern. So pull that through, reattach, 
get a grip of it and slide that first band off and grab it push down and push through like so grab your next blue remember you're only bringing it through the cap not through the blue like so you're going to grab that first band and pull it down and push it through and do that one more time only bring it through the white grab a hold of that front band and push through like so so I'm going to go ahead and pull my inner band through all of the bands that were on my hook and we're going to do one more like so so if you find that these are like um, a little loose like you can see some of my bands there are loose you can actually pull the back bands a little bit which will tighten um, the bands on the front here but I think it lays pretty nice so that's what you would do and then you would just continue doing that until you reach the length of your bracelet I mean you know for your wrist size I'm gonna do this one just one more time I really enjoyed making this bracelet actually it's fun Remember, for this variation, you're not pulling it all the way through. I'm going to have to reattach because I couldn't grab it. like so and then we would just grab our inner band and bring it through like so um, now at the end when you close it up because we um, add two links in between each one but when you close it if mine was long enough I would only bring the one through I wouldn't bring one more and then that's where I would just attach my C clip then you would just come to the beginning and add it to that end so it's a super easy closure. So hopefully I've done it enough for you guys to be able to make these super cute designs. I think it's pretty easy to catch on to. So remember these awesome bracelets were designed by the fabulous Crazy Just Might Work on Instagram. You can also find her on YouTube as Suzanne HB. So we have the original stroboscope bracelet and the variation stroboscope bracelets. So please make sure you tag Crazy Just Might Work as well as myself. If you do make these, we'd love to see them. And hit the like button below if this video helped you out at all. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you at my next video. Bye!